But if you swallow it and let it become a part of your life, it'll make you a better Christian. God bless them. God bless them. God bless them. God bless them. I'm excited about Jesus. I'm excited about Jesus, and I'm excited to be here. Amen. I purposed in my heart some time ago when I saw your pastor giving honor to Dr. Black and to all the ministers present, members, visitors, and friends. Uh, I think it was last year, November, somewhere I saw Dr. Black, and I told him I wanted to come to be with him on his anniversary day. And I didn't want to come to preach. I just wanted to come and observe and take in. That's what I wanted to do. He said, I uh, was with him on yesterday and I told him that Lord's will, I would be there this morning, amen. And I want you to know I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. God has been good to me. Amen. God has been good to me. And I want to give flowers while you can smell them. Don't wait, I tell my family members, don't wait till I die and come dumping all them flowers on me. Because I won't know anything about it. But give me my flowers while I live. I want you to know that uh, back in the uh, early 70s, I was just a teenager, and Dr. Black came to be the pastor at New Bethel Baptist Church, where my mother was a member until she died, and he was her pastor till she died. And uh, I became acquainted with the Black family, and I love Reverend Black and Sister Black, and honor to you. And to all of those girls, amen. amen. This man, Dr. Black, when I started preaching, New Bethel was right down the street from where I live. And many people thought I was a member at New Bethel, but I never was. My mother and sister was. I was a member at New Pine Island with Reverend Atkins. But when I started preaching, this is the man. Dr. Black, who took me under his wings and gave me an opportunity to preach in my own hometown, in my own local church. This is the man. I had been, I had just started preaching a couple of months, and he gave me a revival at New Bethel. Monday through Friday night. I had to preach every night. He said, oh yeah, if he gonna do it, and if he can't finish it, he said, I'm here to back him up. But the Lord let me finish my first revival at the New Bethel Baptist Church. That was under Dr. Black's leadership. Not only that, but on another occasion, he was scheduled to preach for some annual day at New Salem. Yeah, Luxor. He couldn't go, so he sent me. And I went and preached in his place. And do you not know, at that particular time, New Salem was looking for a pastor. And they called me to be the pastor at New Salem Baptist Church, thanks to Reverend Black. Thank you, Reverend Black. Thank you for giving me an opportunity. Reverend Black for all of I've always known him to be a helper for young preachers. Amen. He's had the experience, he's had the know-how, and he has always been a helper to young preachers because he helped me. Mama said, you don't ever forget to preach. That brought you over. And especially, don't burn the bridge just because you done crossed it. Because you might have to backtrack. <laughs> I remember, and I'm going to take my seat, I remember some years ago, Reverend Black preached a sermon about the hog kitten. 
And in his sermon, he talked about the mentality of the hog. Some of y'all from the country, I know you're living in the city now, but you ain't always lived in a brick house. You lived out there on them turn rolls and them cotton fields, and you had hogs and chicken. He said a hog, he said a hog, when you feed the hog, the hog don't ever look up to see where the slop coming from. He just eat the slop. He don't know where it's coming from. He got his nose and face in the trough. But he said we ought not to have a hog mentality. Every now and then, you ought to take the time every day to look up to see from whence your blessings come. I don't know about you, but all my help, I said all of my help, not some of it, but all of my help comes from the Lord. Amen. I want to do something today special for Sister Black. Amen. Come on up here, Sister Black. Amen. Come on up here. Glad to see her today. We honor Pastor Black, but we can't honor him without honoring Sister Black. Amen. I want you to get some money in your hand. Get some money. You got some money left. You ain't spending it all on the lottery ticket. The lottery ticket. You didn't take it all to the dog track. Get some money in your hand. Amen. I want to ask you, I want $20 from every adult that got a $20 bill. Amen. I want to give it in your hand right now. If you don't have a 20 whatever you have to give, I want you to give it in your hand right now. And we're going to sanctify it and give it to Sister Black to do whatever she wants to do with it. Would you join me? Let us say Father, in the name of Jesus, we praise you right now. We praise you for Pastor Black, his vision. We praise you for his leadership these 40 some years as a minister carrying the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We pray now as he grow older that he will grow wiser and stronger. Lift him up and, and hold him up on either side. Every time the devil comes to attack, Lord, we rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just pray that you would keep your arms around him and his family. Bless his wife in the name of Jesus. She has stood by his side almost 50 years. And Lord, we pray that you would just hold her up, strengthen her in the name of Jesus. And these gifts we have in our hand, we want to bless her in your precious name, let every heart say, Amen. Amen. Wonderful things of folks are said when they are the dead and gone. Roses adorn the narrow bed after the soul is gone. Oh,
open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Help me somebody say it tonight. 